What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing the Loch Lomond, 12 year old, single malt, bottled at 46%. Um, doesn't say no added color, so we can assume that there might be a little bit. If there is, it's not a lot, but it might be, who knows? It, it's three casks used to make this whiskey. Bourbon, refill, and rechard. So that doesn't really look like the color you would get from those three types of casks. Maybe if the rechard was like very, very charred, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. $65 at the LCBO. So probably the best value whiskey you can buy at the LCBO right now. Uh, the only cheaper single malt scotch I think is the Deanston Virgin Oak. Uh, you're getting an age statement on this one, 12 years old. You're not getting that on the Deanston. Uh, so definitely has to be, in my opinion, the best value buy uh, at $65. And I don't know if it's gonna last for long at that price, but I do know that that's by far the best price 12 year old at the LCBO in Ontario. All right, so. Nice malty characteristic on the nose. Definitely some orchard fruit like apples. Brown sugar. Maybe like a, a touch of vanilla. Definitely sweet on the nose, like pears even, orchard fruit for sure. Like a ripe pear. Really nice. Maybe like a hint of a peach. Some peach in there. It says on the box, uh, distinct background character with a hint of smoke and peat. I don't get any smoke and peat on the nose here. Let's see on the palate. Super light, very malty, a nice finish. It lingers, it's unchill filtered, and the viscosity is definitely there. Great malty characteristic on this, I really like that. Yeah, wow. Uh, really, really nice orchard fruit. Nice honey note on the back end. And then like very, very malty. Thick maltiness on the back end, on the finish. Really nice, really pleasant. It's like um, a peach oatmeal almost, like cut up peaches in an oatmeal, hot, get that like kind of aftertaste. The liquid is not hot, like I don't mean it's hot on the palate, I just mean um, what you would get from like cooked peaches in oatmeal. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Maybe a touch of honey to sweeten it. because it's definitely sweet. Sweeter than I would expect, to be honest with you. But not overly sweet by any means. Man, that's, honestly, it's really good. Um, $65, the value on this is incredible, in my opinion. Uh, I don't believe it'll be that, lo that low for much longer. I know they changed the box and the bottle, so even the newer expression is $65, which is great. This is the older one, uh, bottled for last year, 2022. Um, I do believe that the 2023 is the, different. It changed, the box and bottle have changed. So um, I still hear great things about the newer one, 
This one's great. Uh, I will definitely have this on my bar from now on if it maintains that price point because it's hard to beat at 65 bucks, 12 years old, 46% uh, unchill filtered. Again, if they were to be able to add that no added color to the bottle or box, I think uh, this would be the perfect buy under $80 at the LCBO. I don't think, I can't think of anything that's better for that price. Maybe the Lejeg 10, um, but that one's hardly ever available. So this is readily available and 65 bucks, you cannot go wrong. This has to be uh, an 87, uh, probably an 88 based on the price and the value and everything you get. I definitely will be buying this again. Um, hopefully it stays that way. I do know that it's gone up in some places, hopefully not too much and hopefully not for long. Um, it's getting a little bit of attention. That's usually what tends to happen, but overall great whiskey. Like I said, 87, 88, I would buy this again. Fantastic whiskey. Hope you like this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon.